Hello everyone, this is Daryl20, and welcome to episode 46 of Daryl20's Let's Play of FTB Sky's Expert Mode. Uh, today, looking at making some kerosene, which should be exceedingly easy, given I just made myself off camera between episodes, uh, a refinery output and refinery controller. Sweet. Where should uh, these guys live? I don't think I need this etching tank anymore. Is that accurate? I'm pretty sure that's accurate. I shouldn't need that at all. So, I mean, it could live here, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, I really don't need the UV light box either, so I can take the speed upgrades out of that. Salvage those a little bit, and that makes life even better. Even better. Uh, that's cool. Uh, and then we could throw down a little bit of dirt. Snag the compressed iron that I made between uh, cuts there. And then what if we put like uh, the refinery controller here? Does that seem cool, right? So there's gonna be a temperature component to it and that's it, there's no pressure needed. Neato burrito, okay. That's not a shovel, dire wolf. I know. Blaze burner is probably what I'm gonna want. Needs a soul cage, okay. Soul lantern in the thing. Nope, I don't have any soul lanterns, but I can get some. Cool. Guess we'll find out. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to get refinery, we're going to get kerosene and diesel. Uh, now, let's compare diesel real quick to force infused diesel. So force infused biodiesel for one millibucket gets us 96 and 64. Okay, so 96 and 64 for one millibucket. For regular diesel without oxygen, that's biodiesel, that's force infused biodiesel, right? 96 and 64 for the force infused. 96 and 64 for the force infused. Two millibuckets of diesel gets me 96 and 32. So regular diesel is demonstrably worse than force infused uh, biodiesel. Um, compared to regular biodiesel, it's it's better than regular biodiesel, right? But not as good as force-infused biodiesel. Force-infused diesel, on the other hand. Sneaky. Force-infused diesel, on the other hand, is better than biodiesel, right? Force-infused biodiesel. Trying to figure stuff out and some goats like, hey, I'm going to be annoying. Um, so force-infused biodiesel is 64. Force infused diesel is 84, so definitely better. Um, and then ultimately you can get to flux infused diesel, which is 127. That is way better. That is like way, way, way better. How tricky is that to get? Flux infused oil uh, will get me a bunch of stuff, right? That's going to need flux infused gems which is energizing dragonstone and volatile substrates. Volatile substrates, I think we've even made before. That's not that big a deal. Dragonstone is an elven trade deal, uh, and we're going to need to terra steel it up, right? Uh, how does one get terra steel? Pretty standard process. Mana diamonds are standard. Mana pearls are standard. Mana steel plate. We've obviously made those before. Uh, okay, cool. I wonder if there's an industrial agglomeration factory. Oh, interesting. Um, and that'll get me Terra Steel with a decent amount of mana. So technically, Terra Steel's in range of possible for me. Um, Elven Gateway. We should look at all the components of the Elven Gateway because, like, who knows? There's probably like one of the like the pylons are like stupid recipe or something, right? Um, pylons are. Definitely a stupid recipe. <laughs> Definitely way more complexity to that. Uh, sentient steel. 
uh, which requires cognitive alloy and uh, terra steel. Cognitive alloy being uh, a whole bunch of stuff. Soul powder and quartz dust and memory essence. Probably doable. Looks not impossible, right? But like lots of things, right? So may Ostrom. Ostrom's like a moon thing. Uh, 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 that's 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 probably gated behind. Okay, so I feel like that's another thing. Ostrom ore is Mars. Mars, Ostrom ore. So what we can confidently say is no flux infused oil until after Mars, right? Um, yeah, I think that that's relatively reasonable, right? Um, I'm, I'm going to say that, right? So once we get to Mars, then we can get Ostrom, um, right? Because a tier two rocket needs a bunch of dash. But, you know, Ostrom comes from Mars. Okay, got it? Good. All right, so uh, let's get back to our original plan, which was making kerosene uh, so that we can get the energizing orb and energizing starters. And those guys will be useful uh, to get the ball rolling into power, which we know will lead to a bunch of other cool things in the future. Um, so where was I? Oh, right, I was making a blaze burner. And for that, I'm gonna need to go capture, of course, a blaze. I'll be back once I do the thing. I have to just find one blaze. Hey, I just killed my 50th Enderman. Hooray! Anything good? Let's find out. Uh, nope, nothing good. Boo. Hey, I ran into an apothic boss. Hey, give me that sword back. Ah, what in the, what is that? <laughs> I'm getting a lot of debuffs, and I don't know what any of them are. But I think I succeeded. Ooh, I got the ender. Pool. Nice. Okay. Come here, piglin. Uh, yeah, so... Ooh, capsid from Al. Okay, neat. That's a thing, apparently. That can be used to make things... I don't even want to know. I'm a little terrified. But cool. Uh, so I just, like, stood idly for like 10 minutes over there and then came back and there were three blazes so i'm like eh, why not just go ahead and get all three of them uh what else did i get here anything good eh, yeah okay some stuff some more stuff some more junk not terribly excited but yeah it's all good to home we go all right with that said we can at least more experience to store cool Oh, and uh, my volatile fluid tank here. Fraction away, my friends. Fraction away. Cool. So now, yeah, Ender flu. You think? Uh, you think? You think a cow's milk can solve this? Yes, it can. Beautiful. Nice. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I don't know what any of these are. Make a refinery controller, I did that. Catch the ender flu effect. Cure it by eating many chorus fruit or drinking milk. Be sure not to let it run its toll. Uh, encounter an enderiophage, a giant mechanical construct found in the end midlands. Be careful not to catch the ender flu. Obtain a capsid from a slain enderiophage. Use it to slay items or to transfer them upwards. Get trapped in concrete feet. Be affected by a ritual of gravity. All kinds of cool stuff happened as a, as a result of that purple mob thing. Uh, good times. So now, uh, now that we have our blaze burner, and we've got some extras for future use, should be no problem lighting you up, right? So let's start with keeping it simple, and then we'll get more complex as, uh, as things go, right? So let's just do a quick test, right? So for this breakdown, we need to be above 100 degrees C, and I assume that the hotter it gets, the better. So if I threw you in there all oh, right you need a straw isn't that right a straw straw there you go now we're cooking Yeah. 
So that should get me nice and hot. But we need uh, the block insulation. So we need some, uh, what are these things called again? Thermal lagging. So luckily those aren't too bad to get now that I have like tons of wool going on. Remember, we have to lag them all, right? And now no problems, so that's cool. And our temperature is not climbing as fast as I thought it would, especially with that, like, you know, blue blaze burner dude. But we're getting our stuff, which is cool. Um, nice. All right. So that works. Yeah, not terrible. Not terrible. Gonna get, I assume it's gonna get hotter. I assume that it's gonna get hotter. Uh, let's remind ourselves that biodiesel for liquid burning gives me 20 minutes of superheated. And I think superheated is it. Like, don't get any better than that. So as I, I don't, like, need to use better fuels for that. Like, that's just going to be the tops. Sweet. And then you should have filled back up with more crude oil because the thing back in the thing is chunk loaded and running. Okay. So now we've got diesel and kerosene available. And now if I wanted to, I could totally do force infused diesel, right? Um, which comes from force infused oil, but that's like a whole different refinery process. Okay. Um, yeah, that's a whole different refinery process, but that'll get me force infused diesel, which as a reminder, force infused biodiesel is 64. Force infused diesel... That's biodiesel again, 64. Force infused diesel is 84. So like 30-ish percent better. Super rough, super rough guess. Okay, no input fluid, cool. So we've got diesel and kerosene. So if I want a bucket of kerosene, I'm gonna need five more or four more buckets. Right, so I'll come back. Yeah, so you drop pretty quickly. You're still running, but you drop pretty quickly. Just to be sure, I'm gonna break and replace you just because I did that thing a little bit wrong. I just wanna make sure. I expected you to be like crazy rapid hot generation like this one does. Like when I do this, it's like whoosh, right? It ain't whooshing over here. But anyway, we'll be back when it's done. So for future reference, by the way, because this doesn't need pressure, this doesn't have to live here. This can go anywhere. Um, what I will likely wind up doing is moving this elsewhere and setting up like a whole um, crude oil processing line uh, where um, basically crude oil can be used for a bunch of things. It can directly make fuel, which makes rocket ships easier. Uh, it can make asphalt blocks for whatever purpose that might be. Uh, it can break down into diesel and kerosene, or it can be force infused, or it can be flux infused. And then the force infused can be done like that, right? And I'm going to assume that some of these, like, like kerosene is clearly used for um, making dielectric paste, right? I'm going to also assume, therefore, that uh, this stuff, aside from just being like a good fuel, right, um, it's also gonna be used for whatever toline does, it's going to make gelled toline. And then liquid sulfuric gas can decondensate to sulfuric gas. It can also make bitumen for us if we want um, to make refinery gas at some point, maybe. I don't know. And sulfuric gas basically just goes, okay, so yeah, this would be used to make bitumen, which can also make oil. Can it convert down to oil? Yeah, it can make crude oil back. So that's cool. So maybe that's some kind of reclamation of oil type deal. And refinery gas... Liquid refinery gas can also be broken down into latex, ethane, and methane, which I assume is a thing we're going to have to do at some point. Maybe that has some purposes at some point in our future. It's interesting. You can make redstone. Okay. And ethylene. Okay. What do you do? Anything cool? Oh, you make a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Looks like this liquid methane is going to be important. Looks like there's better ways to get liquid methane, though. So we'll figure it all out. As you can see, I made some tanks here ready to go uh, so that I can scoop up. Oh, good, you're done. Um, and you. 
Cool. All right, so now I've got Diesel, uh, which just to confirm, is there anything else that Diesel by itself can do? Uh, diesel by itself can make fuel. Uh, it can also make lubricant, uh, which might be useful. Oh, and we can turn it directly into force-infused. Oh, biodiesel? Is that right, or is that a bug? I'm going to go check if that's a bug. All right, now for quest purposes, I need a bucket of kerosene. And now I should be able to get dielectric paste. Yes, that's the theory. So I just need mana-infused copper, uh, which is just copper dust. So what I'm going to do is get some raw copper and give it to Mr. Speedy over here, who does a very nice job. And I had that turned off when I was doing my stuff previously, so get that back on. Cool. Remember, that'll get me like six stacks of dust, so good times. Sweet. And then it was in the fluid encapsulator that you're going to do the thing. Yes? You could probably use some augments. I'm going to get some more augments now that it's a little bit power. So I just need lead gears. So for this, we're going to do... Are we good on Electrum? We are. So lead. Overshot. Just a little bit. Ow. 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 That voltage wire. Gets me every time. Technically only needed... Well, actually I need more than that. Yes, I do. I wanted to get a few extras. Then it occurred to me I didn't get enough. Okay. Uh, and then you. To you. Ow. Really got to be more careful with that high voltage wire, huh? A little bit. Uh, so then you can be a little bit faster now, and that should be better. Beautiful. And that's dielectric paste. Nice. Okay. Because uh, remember, getting into power unlocks a bunch of crafting co capabilities for us, right? Like, you know, uh, normal, like, cool crafting stuff, but also, like, sort of type things, right? All kinds of goodies and power stuff and whatnot, including the ender core, which I remember I wanted for some reason. Why did I want an ender core? Uh, tick accelerator, yes. Am I wrong? I'm pretty sure this gets me the... The satchel now doesn't it i remember i remember i really wanted to get into into this uh the pouch doesn't the temporal pouch didn't that used to be an endercore didn't that used to be an endercore didn't that used to be an endercore did they make this easier to get i feel like they did nautilus shells how am i going to get a nautilus shell though i'm not going to get antimatter anytime soon am i Mob drops, deepling, spawn biome, any. Uh, I don't know where those guys spawn. They look endish, right? Don't they look like the end? There's got to be another way to get a Nautilus shell around here. I thought that that was going to unlock that, but maybe not. Oh, well. Anyway, still, power. Definitely good things. Good things to do. Um, so we're definitely going to need more kerosene. So now, real quick question. Can I break this down from biodiesel? I usually could. No worries. Uh, so you can't break kerosene down from diesel. Remember, yeah, you used to be able to, I thought. I thought that was a thing. But, um, so let's do this. Let's get... We're probably just going to want, like, tons of this stuff, right? So, um, if I just did this, that should now be filling that guy up, right? Um, and remember, the hotter it is, the faster it runs, which is a good deal. Okay, uh, so we'll let that chug, and then I will, um, probably for now... Again, this is like a relatively temporary build. Relatively temporary? And then pipes. Because I'd like to do this with laser IO and be a little bit smarter about it. 
Can I not pipe because of thermal lagging? That might be the case. Can I do that? Yes. Okay. And then... Hey, no, 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 no. Don't do that. No, no, nobody said to do that. Stop doing what you're doing. You're gonna go there. And then you're gonna drain that out. And you're also gonna drain that out. Hopefully. Nope, apparently not. Okay, well then uh, what we're gonna do to fix you there. And that'll salvage the oil for us, right? And then once that's all drained out properly, Wow, it's going to take a while. But once it's all drained out properly, then I can move this stuff over. Cool. So back in a minute once this mess is fixed. Real quick for funds, I'm trying a marine fisher here instead of the industrial instead of the cyclic fisher. A, because I'm tired of fish popping into my inventory. And B, because maybe it can make things happen. Maybe? I don't know. doesn't actually seem to be fishing, though, does it? Can't tell. It goes over the fishing thing, right? Like it goes above the water block, I guess. I'm thinking it actually has to be, and in theory I shouldn't need that anymore either. But I'm thinking it actually has to be centered-ish. Is that the center? Hard to tell from this angle. Yeah. Now are you chilling? Yeah, that's what's up. Maybe I'll get some uh, good loot from this dude. I guess we'll find out, right? He's at least faster than the other one. I'll give you that much. Now, back to dielectric paste and all this other mess. So you're still clearing out stuff. You're getting there. You're close to being done. Let's get uh, energizing orbs. So we're going to take our dielectric paste and make this, right? Um with a little bit more kerosene. Oh, dude, I do have a bucket. Nice. I don't know why I have a bucket of lava in my inventory. I forget. There was a reason, probably, but... I think it was... because I was smoking food earlier. Okay. So you are going to make at least two more for me for now. Actually, that's going to be enough for two more sets of this, but we'll uh, let it run. Well, no, because I need more kerosene still. So we'll, we'll let it do its thing. So let's go with another batch of this. And as a reminder, you can do that. Cool? So then we can use that to get this. And then we can get that. And that's our energizing orb, right? And now for you, we're going to need another one of these. And we're going to need some basic capacitors, which looks like just a block of redstone. Uh, what now? What did I miss? Oh, more dielectric paste. Yes. That. Cool. And then the tiny capacitors are this. And then we get our starter rod. If I get one of these to do this. Cool. Okay. Looking pretty good. Um, and then in terms of crafting here, what we're going to want to have is an uh, energizing orb. How about I put you, um, can you like live without a block attachment on top of you? So if I do this, you don't like want to get placed at all, do you? 
Do you need some flux ducts, maybe? So what if I put flux ducts here? Maybe you have to go on some kind of... Yeah, that's what you need. Okay. And then what I could do is my MV cables, wire connector, wiring, and that'll get that going. Cool. All right. Back in a sec. That should be cool now. Yeah, look, it's, it's building up. Nice. All right. So what we've got here now is the very basic beginnings of power, which is kind of cool because power, uh, well, first off, doesn't have any of the generator stuff, doesn't have any of the energy storage stuff. So that's all good to know. <laughs> Just discovered that as we speak, uh, but that's cool. But well, we can get a bunch of things, right? There's going to be some some usefulness to this. Specifically, we have access to charge service now, which I'm I'm pretty sure this is like the only way to get charge service, right? So that's cool. Um, I think that's like one of the big parts of getting power here. Uh, we'll also get access to like flux infused ingots. Seems cool. Fireite from Elemental Craft and Bottle. Yeah, so definitely some things. Blazing Crystals comes from Blaze Fiber. I got to imagine that there's a use for this. Um, definitely, definitely makes sense. Cool. So we've got all that done now. Uh, Runic Altar would be another thing that we should probably think about getting going on. So we need four, whoo, count them, four blocks of Mana Diamonds. It's a lot of blocks of Mana Diamonds. Uh, that's a real lot of blocks of Mana Diamonds. I should probably come over here and do some of this. Cause I need uh I need to I need to process all my flux. Seems like a cool time, right? And I'm gonna do this, which should let you run again, and you're gonna start doing fluxy things again. And then eventually we'll probably wind up getting more of these. But the reason I wanted to do this is for this purpose wanted to see how many blocks wow we have a lot of cold coke don't we yes yes we do yes 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 we do so how much cold coke do we actually have now all right yeah so i could get a stack of diamonds from this which probably seems about right considering how many blocks of mana diamonds we're gonna need well it looks like we're gonna need a decent amount of mana going on uh so we might want to get into generating more mana but we'll see uh, but just for now, just for funsies, I could look at... Um, now, in fairness, we could absolutely just continuously sift um, gravel right now. It doesn't have a great success rate, but, like, yeah. I think at some point soon we should automate this setup um, such that we're no longer manually doing it over here and instead, like, smartly automate it. But at least for now, we can take some of, like, this crazy amount of diamonds or whole coke that we have and turn it into a bunch of diamonds. Seems like a smart move. I hope I'm not wrong. Uh, we're also going to need a bunch of living rock, which, as a reminder, is just... Uh, it's infested stone, really? Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, we just have to haunt stone, right? To get infested stone. Pretty sure that's accurate. Uh, and then you guys are just like, yeah, standard stuffs. So infested stone is just haunted stone. So we're going to want at least two stacks of this. Okay, so let's get you cooking and you cooking. And you're good. And you guys are doing your thing pretty well. Um, nice. We're going to have to deal with diesel. Now, I did check, by the way, uh, and this was a mistake. So what we're going to do... Uh, is next episode we will start converting from biodiesel to diesel, force infused diesel. And that'll give us a use for all the diesel we're getting. Because, like, right now as it sits, we need a bunch of kerosene and we're getting like four times as much diesel as we are kerosene and we don't have anything to do with it yet because regular diesel is worse than force infused biodiesel. However, if we force infuse it, then we'll have something to do with it. So that'll be cool. Okay, so that's the plan uh, as it sits right now. So that's infested stone, and that's stone stone. And you can be haunted now, and you can be infested. Hmm. 
and you can be infested. Okay, and while I'm at it, how about we get our, this is gonna bite me in the future, but I'm gonna get my exchanging gadget ready so that when like you guys are done doing your thing, I can, I can do that. Now, how are you doing? Are you getting anything good yet? Mm, nope. Oh my goodness, what is happening? Why are you all, why are you not pushing? Shouldn't you be pushing? Shouldn't you be pushing? Why are you not pushing? Push. I don't know what direction you are. Shouldn't you be pushing? I mean, I would very much expect you to be. What am I missing here? I feel like I feel like this should be pushing. Oh, hey, look, Nautilus shells. Doesn't that mean I can do my thing now? So the reason I did this is I suspected uh, because I asked the FTB team. I'm like, hey, is there another way to get Nautilus shells? It's not showing up in JI, and they're like, yeah, fishing. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool. So that means I can take a Nautilus shell now. And who's ready to make one of these by chance? I think yes. Maybe we just need an eye vendor. They definitely made this recipe cheaper, by the way. I'm very upset because I could have had I could have had a temporal pouch like most of this series. Like up until like the last update, this temporal pouch required an ender core. Now it no longer does. So I could have had this all along. But oh well, we got a tick accelerator now. Now we're in trouble. I'm gonna go idle for three days and then we'll come back next episode and I'll have a bunch of temporal time. Uh, and not only that, we should also have, uh, I'm gonna get a bunch of this between episodes. Bing, bang, boom. Hooray, exchanging gadget. And then uh, next episode, right, we will uh, get a whole bunch more fun stuff going, right? So we'll have power, we'll probably get a runic altar and then we'll start progressing to what we need to do and probably, probably uh, mechanism next episode too. I wanna knock this piece out real quick just to get her done. And the next episode, probably Mechanism 2. So for now, Delta 20 sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Let's come back next time and do more fun stuff. And I'm also want to get into Laser IO because I can do that now, right? Pretty sure I can because I can do this. That requires Dash processors. Oh, it needs a Dash plate. But we get eight Roger chips from it. Doable. Doable. Um, I feel like Laser IO would be super nice to have. And then Printed Silicon. Yeah. So once we get... Um, once we get printed silicon, then we can get into laser IO and that will help with a lot of things too. All right. For now, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.